While many of us know that Montana has a large military population, many of those who come home struggle to get back on their feet, which is why organizations such as Grace Home exists. And thanks to one charitable donation, they get to expand upon that mission. The donation of $3,333 was all thanks to veterans of Foreign Awards Auxiliary State President Tammy Havrilla. And I chose Grace Home because it was a, a great veterans organization to donate to because they help veterans transition when they need help to when they leave the military and come into the civilian world. Tammy and has been a member of the VFW for 12 years, serving in the military for 10 years, for with various family members who serve. Ahead of this donation, right. she will be right. finishing her term as state so president, that, and she describes the experience as nothing short of addiction. unique. And uh, I met a, a lot of different people, so it was fun, and I enjoyed my time, and I have a lot of good friends that I didn't think I had before, so it was fun. And I enjoyed raising the money for Grace Home, and um, it's gonna be put, put to good use. While Grace Home started six years ago, they have been providing various services to veterans in need. And this is a significant donation for us, which will allow us to directly help men and women who are unhoused veterans in order to have housing. And you need housing in order to take the next step in your life very hard to move your life forward unhoused on the street. And as part of this donation, they are using a second facility called Grace Haven for one simple but important purpose. This facility is for male veterans and it was real clear to us that female veterans are eight times more likely to be homeless and unhoused and have trauma. And yet there was not one place anywhere in the state of Montana that was dedicated to female unhoused veterans. And this is particularly difficult because many of the unhoused female veterans come with children. So you had to have a facility that could also accommodate their children. So soon we'll be opening Grace Haven, which is for unhoused female veterans and their children. Now, if all goes to plan, Grace Haven is expected to be built in the month of November. The organization is also looking for any donations possible as a way of expanding upon their mission and assisting men and women who fought for our country. In Great Falls, Cade Venter, MTN News.